Hi, honeys. It's Michelle. I'm here today to do another get ready with me. I thought it would be fun to do kind of a Valentine's Day theme makeup and just sit and chat with you for a little bit, get you up to date on everything going on in my life and get your advice on a few little things. So I thought that'd be fun to have a little girl talk. So how are you doing today? As always, I start every makeup session with my Vaseline Original Lip Therapy. Get my hair up here. In my last Get Ready With Me video, I talked to you about finally getting my breast drained. And I can see why they really only wanted to do one. Um, especially with the one that they did was, I don't know if you remember that one video where I explained my cysts, but it was the one where it was two of them that were in the shape of a figure eight, like right next to each other. Um, and it was getting really big right under the nipple. Okay. This is the instant age rewind dark circle eraser in fair, fair Claire's. When I went in there, I was told that to see the surgeon. And as you know, I was really scared to see the surgeon, but when I went in there, I was told that, she, well, she probably won't do this surgical procedure today. She usually likes to meet people, do an ultrasound and then schedule it for a later date. And I thought, Oh no, I'm so miserable. I can't wait any longer. And as you know, from that other video, it had become infected. So I really couldn't afford to just keep, we finally got the infection gone, but it was starting to really hurt again. I thought, Ugh. so when the surgeon came in and did the exam, she said, you know what, this is very urgent and I'm just going to do it right now. Oh, thank God. This is the Murmuru Butter Bronzer in Sunkissed, and this is Physician's Formula. She said that it was really superficial. And by really superficial, I mean right under the skin and right under like the areola area. She said that another infection was about to start. So that wasn't in my head. So then she goes to drain them and says, oh, this is one big cyst. And it's in the shape of a figure eight because it's kind of wrapped around your milk ducts. <laughs> so she goes to drain it and she ends up pulling out uh, three vials of fluid from the cyst. And by vials, I mean, they were this size. They were the size of a bullet lipstick tube. Three of them full of fluid from that cyst. It's been a very difficult experience. I've been in a lot of pain since. She told me to just ice it a lot and take ibuprofen and wear sports bras. But it's been so painful. I'm having a hard time sleeping at night. I thought after it got drained that the pain would just go away. <laughs> nope, it's been quite the experience. <laughs> and I leave tomorrow morning to go see my mom and I hope I'm able to do the whole drive because I've been in so much pain. It's like a five hour drive down there, I think. The highlighter I'm gonna use today this is Space Case, and it's the Scene from Space 1E color. And I like to do this with my fingers. And I'm sorry if you keep hearing sneezing in the background. That's, that's Brad, he's got a cold. He's had a cold and I have been in all this pain, so we're both kind of under the weather right now. This blush that I'm using is also the Space Case brand, and this is Cosmic Gangster. <laughs> I love this one because it's just a real light, gentle color. It's not, look at my cheeks, <laughs> which I prefer. And I'm going to use the Ciate Extraordinary Translucent Powder. 
Oh, I don't know if you guys care about these brushes. This is the Chic Blush Brush. Probably not. They're not like designer brushes or anything. I forgot a step. <laughs> I think it's Raw Beauty Christie. She's been taking bronzer and running it over her nose. And I, I like the way it looks. So I'm going to do it. I've been doing it a lot lately. I think it just makes my nose look a little, a little bit better. I don't, I don't know, a little more defined or something. And I have been watching the show Rectify. But wow, that is sure a good show. It's um, it's this show about a guy that gets to leave prison because it's been found that his DNA doesn't match what was found on the victim's body that he had been arrested for uh, raping and murdering. And it's a really good show. It's just very thought compelling. Just about the whole judicial system and, and what it means and how people can be wrong and how easy it is to get someone to admit that they did something that maybe they didn't do. Very fascinating. If you're into that kind of stuff, watch it. You'll love it. This is probably my favorite way of doing brows. It's the most natural, I think. This is the CoverGirl Easy Breezy Brow. Uh, the color is Rich Brown. Now, I have the one that has what looks like a mascara wand on it. I've seen some people in videos use this and it's a wand that's half the length. I don't know if that'd be easier or harder, but for me, it just depends on if I feel like I can have a steady hand with my left hand, I'll use this. But usually if I don't feel like I'm gonna be able to have a steady hand with my left hand, uh, then I use this LA, LA Girl Shady Slim Brow Pencil. And then, as always, my Ipsy was this Rose Glow liner that I put on the bottom. I said I was going to be asking your advice on a few things. If you guys know of a good tinted moisturizer a good tinted moisturizer please let me know I feel like I want a little bit of coverage on my face maybe my whole face now instead of just this triangle area but I don't know how to wear foundation and I the thought of having something that thick on my face bothers me but then I was thinking a tinted moisturizer that might be where it's at or I guess I could just find a foundation and mix it with moisturizer. I guess I could do that too. The eyeshadow that I'm going to be using today is the Prism Makeup Rosemary Eyeshadow Palette. And I'm going to start out with the color cream here and I'm going to put it all over my entire eye. I wanted to try this and see if it didn't work a little bit better than using the eye primer because I feel like the eye primer it gets stuck right here in this wrinkled <laughs> crepey area of my skin. Hi Brad. Hi. Say hi to everybody. Hi to everybody. <laughs> um, Hello everybody. You should say it. Hello everybody. <laughs> Is Rusty still in the Navy? Did you hear what Brad just said? That actress from Christmas Vacation was the first voice of Betty Boop. <sighs> Love, have you been using your Vicks Vapor Rub? I'm going to be using this color Fairy Tale on my lower lid line. And then this top story color right here, like on the brow bone. Here's my, I'm sick, I don't care to do my hair look. <laughs> <laughs> you're, 
You're just gorgeous all the time. And then I'm going to use this color here, Pi Phi, in the crease line. Which I guess is really the same spot as the brow bone on me, but... Sorry about the noise. It sounds like neighbors are moving it or something. So then I'm going to use this blending brush and I'm going to blend. Go figure, right? Now I'm going to take this color here, Teddy. It's like a it's got a little bit of glitter in it, but it's a real fine glitter. So I find that when I use the glitters here in, the, in this palette, it's they're not falling down into my eye and making my eyes super itchy and uncomfortable, which is kind of a big deal for, for me. And I just do this with my finger. See, here's what it looks like on my finger. It's like a, like a rose gold color. I just love it. So pretty. And I go a little bit higher up than a lot of people do because um, I have hooded eyelids. Now I'm going to do the liner. And this time I'm going to use that new liquid eyeliner from the Ipsy box I showed you. It's the brand Sugar. And the color is I'll Be Black. I'll Be Black. But I, of course, I think of Arnold Schwarzenegger when I hear that. I know it's all be back, but right? It sounds close enough. Okay. I am done with the liquid eyeliner and I hate it. <laughs> I'm just going to be honest, this sugar one, it's like I have to like keep going back over and it's, real thin and fine which sounds great but it's too thin and fine and then as I started going the the tip of this it's like <clears throat> bent and split already I just I hope you can see it I still don't have a camera eventually you guys I will be big enough on YouTube that I can go buy a camera <laughs> but for now I'm still um using my phone so apparently we have a neighbor that I probably know more about her personal life after listening to her talk loudly out there <laughs> than I do some of my friends. <laughs> she can't afford daycare, so she's charging her ex half of it, which, okay. And the reason they're getting a divorce is because she found out he was sleeping with someone and the baby that he had with this other person is the same age as her daughter. Wow, that's a lot, right? <laughs> I'll be right back. I had to break down and go get my other eyeliner that I'm in love with. And this is the Insanely Intense Tattooed Waterproof Eyeliner in Jet Black by the brand Scone. Love this stuff. I just want to kind of fix this a little bit. There we go. Look at that. It's an actual line now. I don't know what was up with the formula on that other one, but it like kind of hurts to apply almost, which is even more strange. So speaking of when I get to enough followers, I'm going to get a camera. I can't believe this. <laughs> As of, I don't know, this morning, I'm at 229 subscribers. And I'm just kind of floored. I had kind of got to a point where I thought it was just not going to grow. And I thought, well, that's okay. Cause I love doing it anyway. But I mean, I guess I kind of hoped that I would end up with a, you know, enough people commenting and watching to where it felt like I had this little community brewing. Right. But 
and my favorite setting spray ever, Pic well, it's the only one I've ever tried, but I love it. <laughs> Pixie Skin Treats Glow Mist with Propolis and Argan Oil. And as you can see, I'm almost out. I'll be buying more because I love it. Absolutely love it. Not only does it set the makeup, but it makes my skin have a nice glow to it. And it gives me a little bit of extra moisture, which I need. Boy, do I need it. But I'm so excited. Think about how many people that is. 229 people? I mean, maybe that doesn't sound a lot. When you look at some people's pages and they have 20,000, 50,000, a million, whatever. But to me, that's a lot. You can't fill up a, I mean, you'd need more than one classroom for that many people. I remember that when I first started, I just wanted 30 people. I wanted to feel like I could fill up a classroom with the people that were subscribed. <laughs> and so I'm, I'm just really happy and I'm happy to be growing finally and we'll see where it goes. I'm going to use my go-to mascara, the All May Multi Benefit Mascara. And this is in Blackest Black, number 511. Or 501. I think it's 511. It's so tiny and I need reading glasses now and I just, I don't even think reading glasses would help me with that. I need to get a magnifying glass. If I'm going to keep doing get ready with me videos, that's what I need. And then I can tell you all this stuff. What do you think? Do you guys like get, get ready with me videos? I'm also at that point where if you saw my Valentine's Day video and my Ipsy slash how to save money video, you know that I um, have gone down a clothing size and usually about every, oh, I guess about once a year, I'll go and I'll buy about five different v-neck t-shirts in different colors and then I just use them for a year and until they get real ratty and then I turn them into rags or something. It feels like these t-shirts that I've been wearing around the house and to work and everything because I work at home. They feel like they're getting too ratty, too ratty. And now that I've gone down a size, should I go down a size on the shirts too? And I'm curious if you guys have any t-shirts that you would recommend. I've been getting Mossimo for years and I love Mossimo t-shirts, but Mossimo doesn't exist anymore. And I'm not really a fan of whatever these new Target t-shirts are made of, like who, whatever brand it is, they're just not doing a lot for me. It's like I'm so picky. I want a certain amount of softness and a certain amount of like, I, I want a certain amount of softness and I want my t-shirts to be kind of thin. I don't want real thick cotton because that can get too hot. And I'm also about to be in the market. Some new underwear as well, but just the casual ones that you wear every day, not the sexy ones. I got a bunch of sexy ones, but, um, and I am no longer happy with Torrid's cotton underwear. So I would like to know if you're, if you're plus size also, do you have a underwear brand that you just think is amazing because the last batch I bought of my cotton underwear I got them in hmm, I think it was like September and they're already totally falling apart the elastic on them is shot but the elastic on them and I know I know I've lost weight so maybe that's why they're starting to get a little baggy but the elastic on them, the first time I washed them, immediately started fraying. And so every time I go to wear them, I have to cut the, the elastic that has come undone. I have to cut it off, which I just find 
a little bit much. I mean, the ones that I've had for years that are from Tora that are cotton, those ones have still never done that. So I don't know if they found a new distributor or what, but I am just not impressed anymore like I used to be. Please let me know if you have any V-neck t-shirts or underwear that you recommend so I can get them in 20 different colors. 21 flavor. What is that, Baskin Robbins? 21 flavors, babe? Uh, oh. Okay, I'm going to use my lip liner. I'm not a lip liner expert by any means. I have two shades. I've got this one and the other one. This one's okay. Uh, the one that I used in the last Get Ready With Me video, I love and I will probably repurchase. This one, when it runs out, it's gone. I, I don't really care for it that much. Now that I've told you I don't like it, it is the Illamasqua coloring pencil. The color is Lust. And here's what that looks like. And I asked Brad, what color do you prefer my lips to be on Valentine's Day? And he said, red. So we're doing a red lip today. The lipstick color that is my favorite red ever is NYX BLS 19 in Big Cherry. And I like this one. I don't know how well it comes across on the camera, but it's a red with blue undertones, which I like because I am a winter complexion gal. Okay, so many of the reds that come out have the wrong undertone. Like a orange undertone, which I mean, it's not wrong for other people, but for me it is. And then what I do, you can tell I've done this before with the shade of it, but I take this Wet n' Wild lip gloss. It's this the clear one that they sell. And I dab it along the bottom. And I dab it along the top for this nice, wet, Robert Palmer 80s video look. And it makes me feel simply irresistible. Get it? Yeah, I know. I'm so funny, right? <laughs> yeah. Tell me, what are you doing for Valentine's Day this year? And if, now I personally don't really care about Valentine's Day, but if you do care, I used to care. And if you do care and you're single, I know people like to call it Single Awareness Day. When I was single, my best friend and I, well, she's, I mean, we don't live anywhere near each other, so we're kind of more distantly friends. But at the time, my best friend and I were both single, and we just hated being single on Valentine's Day. I'll never forget this one year. I told her, all right, I'm going to be your date this year. And I want you to go out, doesn't matter how much you spend, like even if it's just $15, go buy yourself something that you want for Valentine's Day. So she went and got her Valentine's gift for herself and I got mine for me. Oh my gosh, I think I still have it. Hold on, <laughs> you'll get a kick out of this. So I went out and I got myself, I think it was a box of chocolates and this. <laughs> 
this dog here. So this is my single Valentine's Day present to myself. And sorry he's so flattened out. He has been living in a storage bag for ever since we moved out here. But I just wanted a teddy bear that I could cuddle with and there, there wasn't a love in my life to get me one. And so I got this for myself and my friend came over <laughs> and I bought a bottle of cheap wine <laughs> and we drank the wine together and we watched Sweet Home Alabama. And it was just a wonderful Valentine's Day. We took care of ourselves. We just did our own thing. And the reason I'm mentioning this, if you're single and you hate being single on Valentine's Day, do what me and my friend did that year. Invite a friend over, have some wine, watch, you know, a chick flick and get yourself something nice that you want, that you wish that somebody else would get you. Just do it for yourself. Meet your own needs. And then one day, just hang in there. I, I, I hate the whole singles awareness day. It just, it sounds so terrible and there's nothing wrong with being single. You don't want to settle if you're not, you know, if the right person isn't someone that you've met yet, then you should be single and you should be proud of being single. All right, I'm going to get off my soapbox. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you're doing for Valentine's Day, if you have any plans yet. Have a great rest of your day. Bye.